Welcome to the Enrollment Process Overview for the University of New England's Masters of Science in Applied Nutrition program, our Registered Dietitian Nutritionist focus area. My name is Ali Legier. I am an enrollment counselor for this degree path. I am joined today by my colleagues Emily Taylor and Tanisa Emerson, who are also enrollment counselors. Uh, this should be about a 15-minute overview of the program and application process to best help you get started on your path uh, towards becoming a registered dietitian. Thanks, Allie. I'm Tamisa Emerson, also an enrollment counselor here at UNE specifically for the RD program. So what can one expect from this program? Successful graduates will receive a verification statement that will allow them to sit for the RD exam after completing the program. All of the coursework is 100% online. You're never required to travel to UNU's campus at any point in time in the program. Of course, you and your family will be invited back for graduation, which is always a really great time to celebrate and meet everybody face to face finally. Um, asynchronous scheduling, you'll never be expected to be signed in at any particular date and time. Lectures are all recorded, so you can access that at any point in time. We do run from a Wednesday to Wednesday schedule, so most instructors will have different assignments due every Wednesday or every Sunday, all depending on the instructor in the course. Everything will be laid out for you in your syllabus, so you'll know ahead of time what's expected. Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm also an enrollment coordinator here at UNE. Going to talk a little bit about the program prerequisites and application requirements that we'll go over in depth during this presentation. First is to have completed the three prerequisite courses with a B minus or better, submit a complete online application, and secure your supervised experiential learning preceptors required for your first year in the program. First, we'll go over the three prerequisite courses. First is APN 505 Applied Anatomy and Physiology applied nutritional biochemistry, and then applied food innovation. We offer all three of these prerequisites through UNE online. You're welcome to take them through us. If you have another university or college that you're interested in taking these courses with, feel free to do so. We would just want to see the course that you're interested in before you go ahead and pay for anything to make sure it'll transfer for you later down the line. If you are interested in taking them through UNE online, you do have two different pathways for enrollment. The first is to register as a non-matriculated student. This means that you would be just registering for one of our prerequisites and taking them as non-matriculated student means that you're not fully enrolled in a program, um, you're not a full-time student, but this option does offer you some flexibility. So you would be able to take a uh, prerequisite courses, maybe fall A, and then you could take fall B off and come back and take another one spring A and so on and so forth. Your second option would be to apply provisionally to the program. This means that you would fill out a complete online program application, let your enrollment counselor know that you're looking to apply provisionally, and then if you are accepted, it would be on the provision that you complete the three prerequisites with a B- minus or better and get your SEL preceptor scheduled and approved before you can start the core program courses. You wouldn't need to reapply, you would already be accepted, and you would be considered a full-time student, which would make you eligible for federal financial aid to help pay for the prerequisites. If you do choose this option, you would be expected to take the prerequisites in succession, and so you would not have the flexibility afforded to a non-matriculated student. So both options have pros and cons, uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you have completed courses similar to this in the past, we would be able to review that for you. Uh, courses should be less than five years old and you should have earned a B- minus or better. You do have previous coursework that you'd like to have reviewed for equivalency for these three prerequisites. Just let your enrollment counselor know and they'll share the form with you. The application process for the RDN program is fairly straightforward. Most everything can be uploaded through our online application portal. This is where you will include your general information, uh, your current resume or CV. There is a space to respond to our professional goal statements. These are four questions that we ask for one to two paragraph responses to for each of these questions. And here is where you can also include your references. Um, these should be three folks that are supervisors to you in some way, either professionally or academically. They do not need to write letters of recommendation, but we do ask for their contact information. It's at the discretion of the admissions committee if they choose to reach out for further comment or questions. The only thing that will not be able to be uploaded via the application portal by yourself will be your undergraduate transcript. This does need to come directly to UNE uh, via mail or email, depending on what your university offers, to be considered official. 
Once we receive it, we will upload it on our end and let you know when your application is complete. If you are an international student, we do look for, instead of your transcripts, an official evaluation of your transcripts showing um, equivalency to a U.S. bachelor's degree or higher. And again, that would just come directly from the evaluating organization to be considered official. You can submit your application to be reviewed provisionally prior to taking the prerequisite courses, or you can take some of the prerequisite courses as a non-matriculated student and include that in your application. Please discuss with your enrollment counselor what's the best option for you. Okay, the supervised experiential learning component is what we refer to as the SEL. It's the equivalent to a traditional dietetic internship. It's different from an internship in that the hours are integrated with the actual graduate coursework and they're completed concurrently with your online classes. So students will average about three different preceptor sites for the SEL. You'll be doing hours at a clinical site, at a community-based site, and food service site. To begin the core RD courses in the program, you have to have your first year of SEL hours planned out um, and secured and approved by the director of the program before beginning those courses, because once you begin that first core RD course, you will also be beginning your SEL hours. This process does take a bit of time to um, set up, so you wanna give yourself at least six to nine months to plan for this. Um, and receive approval for the SEL preceptor sites. UNE will support applicants in this process, but it is the responsibility of the applicant to locate um, the different sites and connect directly with potential preceptors. Whenever you're ready to begin the planning process, when you are going through the application process, you'll just wanna connect with your enrollment counselor and let them know you'd like to get started. The first step is connecting with Dr. Maya, who's the director of the program, and attending the initial SEL info session, which your enrollment counselor will facilitate this for you. And this is all done before even reaching out to any preceptors. Um, but to get a good idea, you will want to start looking in your area to see what's available for you. Here we'll go over some information about the tuition and your potential timeline for applying. You can see here the tuition for the program is $750 per credit hour, and the two years of the program are 48 credits. You can also see some general service fee, technology fee, and malpractice insurance fee listed there as well. And all of these fees and tuition are listed on our website. The prerequisites are also $750 per credit hour. Each prerequisite is three credits. Prerequisite coursework. They are eight week long courses offered one at a time on a rotating basis. So it can take up to six months to complete all three of the courses. The RDM program itself is two years and full time. Courses and labs are eight weeks long and you'll take one course, one class and one lab every eight weeks consecutively. This means that you're also taking courses through the summer semester. The expected time commitment is to have um, spend about 15 to 20 hours per week on the online coursework and then 10 to 15 hours per week on the SEL. So these two things do happen concurrently. So you can see you can expect to spend about 35 hours per week, which is pretty close to a full-time job. Uh, while UNE does not prohibit students from working during this program, we do want to give you all of the information so that you can make the choice that is best for your life. Um, so most students do not work during the program because of this expected time commitment. Um, but if you do need to work, um, that's something that you'll need to work out with your SEL preceptor. The online coursework is 100% online and asynchronous, so that can be worked around your schedule. But if your SEL preceptor works 9 to 5 and you work 9 to 5, that's something you're going to have to work out. So we do want students to be able to make the best choice for themselves by giving them all of the information they may need in order to make that decision. Okay, these are our most frequently asked application questions. When should I apply? This is really going to be dependent on what prerequisites you need to take. Also taking into consideration setting up those SEL hours for the first year, which is going to take you at least six to nine months, um, are all things to think about when you're deciding when you'd like to start those core RD courses. You'll want to connect with your enrollment counselor to put a timeline together based on those factors. How long will it take to find out if I'm accepted? We do have rolling admissions, so once you um, Submit a completed online application with all of those supplemental materials. Um, it will take about one to two weeks for you to receive a decision. And what makes an application successful? 
The admissions committee wants to ensure that you are going to be set up for success in this program. So having a strong science background is definitely helpful as this is a science-based program. If you do not have a science background, it is recommended that you take a few science courses and you can speak with your enrollment counselor in that regard. You'll also have to take the prerequisites, which will be helpful. Um, but what's really important is understanding the expected time commitment, um, expectations and requirements of the program, and making sure that you really hone in on those with your essays, um, that you do understand what is expected of you. If you are not expected, um, I apologize, if you're not accepted initially into the program, you do have the option to reapply. You'll just connect with your enrollment counselor and talk about some ways to strengthen your application for the next time around. So the next steps for you are to connect with your enrollment counselor, which is most likely one of us. Uh, what we need to know to best help you are the following. Are you going to take your prerequisite classes through UNE? Or do you have previous coursework that you would like reviewed to see if we can waive any of our three prerequisites? And then finally, what is your ideal timeline when you're looking to begin that first 600 level core RDN course? Going off of this, we can help you plan out the best application timeline that works for your goals, as well as the needs of the program. We look forward to working with you. Have a great day.